So from appearance it looks clean, but actually the water is contaminated. Yeah, we detected uh, pathogenic viruses in this drinking water and indeed it is a uh, major problem carries the issue. Grey water accounts for the largest wastewater streams in Boise 3. This is mainly due to domestic wastewater. This is one of the tertiary drains discharging grey water into sober stream. And as you can see, there is like a street of pit latrines that have bathrooms attached. Uh, next to the pit latrines, discharging the grey water from the bathroom into this tertiary drain. Yeah, one of the major problems with this tertiary drain is that the slope is marginal. So whenever the grey water is discharged into the drain, it remains stagnant. This problem is uh, made worse by the disposal of the solid waste in, in the drain. Another major sanitation problem is how to manage the solid waste. This is Nakamiro Open Channel, the outlet connecting to the mainstream in Soba Channel. It is frequently clogged with solid waste particles, such as plastics, polythene buds, and metal scrap. Uh, this tertiary drain is usually clogged by solid particles. And uh, the flow in the tertiary drain is low and the, the level of stagnation is very high. We tested this grey water and we were able to detect uh, pathogenic waterborne viruses. And indeed it is a big health problem in, in, in Boise 3. Poor solid waste management in Boise 3 has not only contributed to the blockage of channels, but also led to increased number of breeding places for disease vectors such as mosquitoes and occurrence of waterborne diseases in the area, as the researcher explains. So this is one of the areas uh, along the Nsoba channel, and as you can see it is also uh, clogged with the solid waste particles. Uh, here there is a fresh person bag that has been thrown into the channel and some of them are being used for excreta disposal. The major problem with the sedimentation of the solid waste in these channels is that they sort of reduce the flow in the open channel and they also act as bleeding places for mosquitoes that cause malaria in this area. Most families here usually prepare and cook food near the drainage channels, which is also a public health risk. But why do residents abandon constructed toilets and resort to flying toilets, which pollute the environment? As access. In order to disseminate the SIKSA research project findings and allow stakeholder participation in improving sanitation in slums, a stakeholder workshop was held on the 20th of March 2012 at Hotel Africana, Kampala. And we are trying to disseminate some of our results with the stakeholders to tell them what really happens. And actually we got a very good, good feedback, which some of the points they, they raised, we put them in our, our research to further uh, try to understand how we can manage this situation. Dr. Kalist Tindimugaya, a Commissioner of Water Resources Regulation in the Ministry of Water and Environment, highlights the issue of urban groundwater pollution and the related health consequences. So areas like the Baise, we have challenges where you have a, a water source like a spring next to a pitra tree. Then you find that the people are consuming actually polluted water, they defecate in the pitra tree, and what they throw there is the one that comes into their water sources. So what we are looking at at the moment is we cannot continue having such situations in slum areas, and there are a number of options. First of all, to improve sanitation options, where you can get sanitation options that don't pollute the water underground. But what is Kampala City Council Authority's plan on the campaign for sanitation in the slum areas like Boise?
be as KCCA, we are going to reinforce the enforcement because it's by law that you are, that you are in a city, you are in a community, such as in the city, you have to have a facility, a sanitation facility. So we are going to have a multitude of interventions. Community sensitization, using the guidelines and laws, ordinances, and then improving on the infrastructure. This project has demonstrated that slum areas contribute a lot of nutrients which impair water resources downstream. Existing springs used as domestic water sources are contaminated with waterborne viruses and bacteria. Most nutrients originate from grey water and there is a strong need to manage grey water in urban slums. The findings seem to suggest that we may have to continue promoting the use of improved toilets to minimize nutrients discharged from slum areas. Existing sanitation systems are unsuitable and there is still need to address collection, transport, treatment of waste and the reuse or safe disposal of the end product to minimize public health risks and environmental pollution.